the heat is back. Temperatures later today around 101 degrees, one degree shy of the record. We'll see what happens. We could get there now tomorrow. Some afternoon gust I think will stir up the atmosphere when air sinks. It warms. Uh, it's pretty likely we're going to get to 102, maybe even 103 tomorrow afternoon. The record is just 100, so that record tomorrow will likely fall. And then Thursday, not a cool down. I'm never going to call 97 a cool down, but a little less intense heat as we slide into the end of the week. And it's a dry heat. The thermometer this afternoon will say 101 degrees. But did you know this? It's actually going to feel more like 92 degrees. Well, how does that even work? Well, low dew points. Of the air is very dry. Some light breezes. The movement of the air uh, sort of helps it feel just a little less intense heat wise. Now that said, I mean, your car thermometer is going to read 100 to 105 if you're parked outside during the afternoon, and that is significant. 74 right now in Summerlin, 69 in Anthem, 64 in Sunrise Manor. That's our cool spot around the valley. Weather where you live up to 101 in Centennial Hills, 96 in Summerlin, North Las Vegas, you'll get to the triple digits. Uh, these high temperatures will happen around 4, 4 30, 5 o'clock this afternoon. I think 99 in Spring Valley, Southern Highlands, always one of our toasty spots at 101. 100 on the nose in Green Valley and then downtown Henderson uh, at least 101 degrees. It always seems like the thermometers around downtown Henderson uh, read pretty hot pretty quickly during the middle of the day. 98 the high today in Pahrump, uh, 101 again here in Las Vegas. Look at Laughlin 105 uh, out toward Death Valley. They're thinking 110 this afternoon. We are looking at this big warm ridge of high pressure the next couple of days, but a weekend storm system is going to dive down from the Pacific Northwest toward Utah. Why do we care? Well, we care because that should drop our temperatures back down into the 80s for Saturday and for Sunday. Uh, we'll have some winds though ahead of that weekend storm system, some 35 mile per hour gusts tomorrow. Still breezy on Thursday afternoon. Friday could be the windiest day as that system pushes toward the desert southwest. Some 40 mile per hour gust anticipated Friday afternoon. And the temperatures later this week will get reduced back closer to normal. 91 on Friday, 84 on Saturday, 87 on Sunday, Mother's Day. I do think that Sunday looks like by far the better weekend day because we're not expecting much wind on Sunday. Temperatures back near 90 early next week. But yeah, as being the takeaway, we are going to be in the triple digits for the next couple of days. Climatology would suggest we've got about 75 more of those triple digit days to go between now and September. We'll talk about the UV index in just a moment. Oh,